A very good morning to you, my dear students. This is Shravan sir, and today we'll be dealing with the same topic which we had already dealt last week. That is direct and indirect speech. All right? It's for class eight. Okay. So last week, as I had given you the questions with the answers, all right, you need to supply the same kind of answer in your question okay, which I have given to you. Okay. So today we'll be dealing with exercise number hundred and seven and exercise number hundred and eight. I have come up with one one examples, okay, to make sure that you understand everything, okay. So before we do that, let's do some kind of recapitulation, all right? Direct and indirect speech. Last time in the class, I have told you that it is a reported speech, all right. A thing that is reported will always be in the past form, all right. Something that has happened, and we are going to report it. So it, it will always be in the past form, okay. The verb and the helping verb in the direct speeches will take the past form in the indirect speech. All right. The verb that you see in the direct speech will take the past form in the indirect speech. All right. And it is vice versa. If you are given direct speech, the verb will be in the present form in the sorry indirect speech. If you are given, and the verb in the direct speech will be in the present form. All right. So let's have a look at the examples. Exercise number one hundred and seven. In question number one, you have this: What a rare article milk is to be sure in London. There is an exclamatory mark. Said Mr. Squeers with a C. All right. So Mr. Squeers explained exclaimed with a great C that milk was to be sure a rare article in London. All right. Now the thing that you need to notice out here is see in the direct speech what a rare article milk is. Which is in the present form to be sure in London. As we convert this into the indirect speech, it will become like this. See, Mr. Squeer, Mr. Squeers exclaimed. There is an exclamatory mark. That's why we are writing exclaimed. Okay, instead of said exclaimed with a great C that milk was. So milk was. Here, milk is all right. Milk was to be sure a rare article in London. Everything remains the same except this uh, is and the exclaim that we start as we start with Mr. Squares. All right. Now, exercise number hundred and eight. Here, there's a slight change. Okay. Now, the questions you are given in the indirect form. Now, you have to make it into direct speech. All right. Question number one. He asked Ram to go with him. This is in the indirect form. I have written out your note from indirect to direct. Now the answer will be he asked Ram, comma, open inverted comma, and then you have to write come with me. Right? Come with me. Go will become come. Him will become me. Okay. So come with me. Okay. So from this exercise. From exercise number one hundred and seven, you have to do only eight questions, okay? And from exercise number one hundred and eight, you need to do ten questions, okay? Thank you, class. Have a nice day.